Welcome everybody, and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about my 1977 Fiat 124 Spider Barn Fine. So I found this 124 stashed in a garage since 1997. That's nearly 25 years. You can, you, can, you can tell it's a little worse for wear. So let's take a few minutes to look at some of the good and some of the bad. Speaking of bad, you can probably notice the tires have a little rot. Checking the serial numbers, these were likely manufactured in 1988 and it's a miracle that two of them actually still hold air look at that now i found this car in a garage across town i'm not a huge fan of convertibles but when i saw the factory pininfarina hardtop i was sold this is literally pulled out of the garage and stuck into mine exactly how i found it I did just a basic pre-purchase inspection, and here it is now. So let's take a little closer look. We'll start on the outside and move on the inside and see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, as we take a quick look around the outside, everything seems to be pretty in order. I haven't found any signs of body damage, at least anything that's been overly hidden. You can see among the filth that there is some little lightly raised rust on the hood. I haven't been able to find much more surface rust other than that. Um, some slightly, some slight rust, just a little bit, not even really too bad in here. But I have found, and you can't see it's too dark, but in previous years, some minor fiberglass repairs have been made uh, to the wheel wells. Uh, nothing extensive, but it does look like the car's been taken care of. Tiny little hole right in here, um, but not too bad. Otherwise, um, as we go around the car, you can see I had to, re to remove somewhat forcefully the wing mirror when we were attempting to get it onto the, uh, to the tow truck. Um, all the labels and everything, the pinstripe the trim all look like in good shape you can see there's some rust there was the the garage was a little bit damp on this side of the car and it left a, a few little bits of rust let's see if we can get the door open kind of take a look yeah not too bad not too bad most of that will probably clean off pretty nicely uh, same goes for inside this rear wheel well. You can see just with the dampness, corrosion on the wheels, rust on the lug nuts. The uh, brake calipers actually look um, in pretty good shape just from out here. I'm sure the, uh, we're gonna have to replace the rotors and the pads, no big deal. Some paint scratches just from being in a garage for so long. The rear isn't quite as nice. Fortunately, some of the tail pieces have seen some corrosion, some rust, but it all looks fairly superficial. Um, hopefully these terrible, terrible bumpers will be removed later on as I get to work on this project. Gas tank is right here in the fender. That is so cool. Look at that. Thing looks good. The gas cap looks like it's been resprayed. I was told by the previous owner that this car had underwent an, an restoration at some point in its existence. Um, and I've seen a few signs of that as some overspray. I think it was a lighter color blue from the factory. Um, so that could be good or bad. We'll have to see as we get into this car if a previous restoration covered up any potential flaws or if it really helped preserve this car. This is the 1800 Spider, which is a 
1.8 liter. Well, it's like 1756 cc's. Who knows, it's like what, 100 horsepower, 60 horsepower. I don't know that much about the car. Uh, once I get into it, we'll figure all that out. Um, it hasn't run in, since 1997, so who knows if this engine will even move over. I'm gonna try to get it going here in the next few weeks. But right now, I just wanna kind of focus on what we see. So next, I'm gonna go ahead, and, that's the body, that's the outside. Let me get the hood popped. Maybe we'll take a look in the trunk real quick before we get too far. I looked in here briefly and it's a big mess. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, that stinks. So the battery's missing. And I noticed when I looked at the car, when I bought it, that the starter has been disconnected. So if somebody attempted to, what is this? That is a mouse nest. That's cool. That's a bone. Yeah, that's the original Fiat toolkit. Look at that. It looks like it's all there. Something's missing here. That's pretty neat. There's a lot of junk in Let's see, there's a lot of junk. Let's see, this is the fuel. Fuel lines look decent. I think that's the fuel filter. Fuel filter there. Check valve. Everything looks in place here. The fuel tank, I believe, is right under right under this mat. But I have to get this mess cleared out. Temporary tag from 1996. That must have been right before it was parked. It is a little chilly. What's this? Parts. I can't quite read it. I'll see if the rest of it's in here. Oh, license plates. You really have a gimbal. Hey, look. Why is he recording a video? I don't know. This is this is the original factory. Owner's manual. Huh. Well, we'll definitely keep that. I don't know what these little bits are for. Uh, rubber glove. Hopefully no surgery was done in here. Another rubber glove. This is probably the battery box, I assume. A battery box? Yeah, so you put the yeah. battery in there and then pick that up. Something like that. Some oil. Oh, what's that? There we go. What's this? That is the original service book it's from 1977. Huh, so this is from 1977. This must be the original owner. Mary Glantz, owner's name. I'll block out the address so nobody can go harass her if she's even still alive. Look at that. Okay, well, we can see if there's any maintenance done. It's in pretty good shape. Here's some stuff. What's this? This is service by Bernie. Thanks, Bernie. 1977. It's cool. Huh. Well, those are cool. Those are original stuff for the car from 1977. I'll try to get in here and pull up some of this. Oh, there's definitely some more, some more mice nests in there. That could be a problem. Can I help? Well, we've got a fifth wheel, full-size fifth wheel with the spare. I could probably put that on right now. I bet that tire's in better shape than the ones that are on it. And, all right. We'll take a look on the under the hood next. Okay, you can see that I've got the top off, the hard top. Got the hood open. We'll take a look at the engine, but first I just want to talk about this top, which I'm super excited about. It looks like in great condition. The top is just dirty. The glass looks wonderful. Also dirty. It does appear to be missing. There's a bolt here, and on the other side, it appears to be missing some sort of hardware. I'll have to figure that out. I believe it probably latches in to these little hooks here. Um, hopefully that's not too hard to find. The, uh, the rest of the hood, I'm not sure. It's fiberglass, obviously, but I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a headliner or something in there, but it's completely gone. The, the latches are intact, but rusty. 
The seals don't look great, but they're not awful. There's rear latches here that are also rusty and maybe potentially missing some hardware, but the rest of the, of the roof looks excellent, especially love this little Pininfarina tag riveted on the side that just shows the provenance of this Italian coach made roadster. All right, let's take a look at the engine next. Very dirty, but overall, I don't see anything that's really concerning. Obviously, the air filter has been removed. It's just laying over on the on the garage floor over there. Carburetor, who knows, most likely will have to come off and be rebuilt, but the, the hoses are mostly intact, not completely rotten away, but there's a good chance after sitting for 25 years, many of them will need to be replaced. Can't quite see in here, but there's some corrosion on the radiator, most likely will have to go. Lots of rust around connectors and spring clamps. There is oil in the engine. It doesn't look too bad. It's obviously old and dirty, but I feel good that it was stored with oil in it. That's probably a good sign. You can also see a little bit of seepage of oil around the spark plug holes. And who knows, that might be actually been a good thing. Keep it fresh and clean. I was told by the previous owner that it was originally parked because of a brake line problem, which I assume must be related to this Reservoir line has been disconnected, um, which is a shame because that's probably an easy fix. Master cylinder, complete new master cylinder, cylinder for this car is only 20 or 30 bucks. And I, I would imagine to get in the new reservoir connectors is probably a pretty simple process. Um, you know, the belts are still on and actually look okay. Obviously I'll replace those. The alternator pulley is pretty rusty. This is the dual overhead cam, 1,756 liter, four cylinder. I believe that's would be considered longitudinally mounted with a rear wheel drive. Distributor cap, I'll pull that off and make take a look, but here, let's walk around to that side. This car is still filthy from head leaves and mice. The grills have some gunk in them still. Get all that cleaned up. The insulation from the bottom of the hood is obviously missing. It's an electric radiator fan, I believe, which probably shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Some corrosion around some of the coolant lines. Probably not a big deal. This is the preheater for the carburetor. It's seen some better days. It's just... Let's see, this is probably the, I don't know, windshield washer fluid? I don't know, let me know in the comments. I have to take a little bit closer look at this number plate here. It's corroded over, but might give me a little more information on the engine. All right, well, coil pack probably needs to be replaced, but all this seems pretty straightforward we'll go ahead and change the oil change the spark plugs get the engine turned over a few times by hand obviously clean the fuel lines take a look at the fuel tank and that'll be step two but next let's take a look at the interior okay here's the interior this is what i'm most excited about it is just pure italian loveliness look at the steering wheel two spoke steering wheel the windshield wipers the turn signal stalks so fancy 60,000 original miles on the odometer can you believe that everything's in english and italian there is an aftermarket sony cassette player wonderful the uh five speed manual transmission moves around a little bit but who knows if it's gonna if it's gonna work ashtray you're gonna believe this oh uh, still has cigarette butts and not only the front ashtray the rear ashtray has cigarette butts as well you gotta love who's sitting back here taking your 10 12 year old kid giving him a cigarette 
you gotta love the 70s and 80s. Look at that. But you will notice the center console, which is so cool. This is where you control the, the heating defrost. I'm not even sure. That it did come with a second replacement part there, so that's cool. You've got the, the heat, cold and warm defrost. Um, so it did come with a, a newer unit for that, so that's nice. And notice this is kind of beat up. The owner gave me a second one as well that's in much better shape, so that'll be cool. I'll be able to swap that in um, and really clean up. The rest of the interior is just lovely. The dash, not so lovely. Um, we'll see how that goes. That's probably a aftermarket part you can get for that. I don't know. The carpet is terribly ugly, I gotta tell you, but it's in great shape. The only thing you, you really can't experience through the video is just the, the terrible smell. You might even notice that all through here there's just crystallized, I don't know, is that mold or something? Oh, look, look at that. That is a two by four, a two by four. Now I can't imagine, although it's not, I can't rule it out, that that came from the manufacturer in Italy. The Italians might do something like that, but I have to wonder what's in there. Um, even on these, like, look, there's wire on the wires. I don't know if you can see it. Little tiny dots of mold, and it just smells like uh, my grandma's basement. Not, not lovely. So I have a feeling that while the floor mats are in good shape, look at that. It's even got the original carpet pad. Looks wonderful, and it's wrapped up. I might be able to clean that up. Floorboards. Oh no, that one's a little soft. That's okay. They're pretty much intact. The other side's in better shape. That one's a little too soft. We'll see. I don't want to play with it too hard now until I get a better look. Get it up in the air. If I can't clean these carpets, though, they're going to have to go. They stink so bad. It just reeks. But we'll get it cleaned up. We'll run it with some soap and water. Now, the one thing I am really curious about is the top. This top has been retracted for 25 years. I have not put it up yet. I don't know what condition it is. Just from looking, some visuals, everything looks really good from inside. Now, who knows what's gonna happen when we pull it up. But I think we should take a minute here. We're gonna go ahead and put this top up and see what happens. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, one more thing on the interior that I haven't had a chance to look at. Uh, the wipers, I don't know what these do. Is that some sort of light, the dimmer maybe for the dash? But let's take a look in the glove box. Get it open. There you go. Oh, oh yes. Yes, that's exactly what I expected to see in the 70s Italian Roadster. Is this a bottle of cologne or perfume? Oh, it's Eau de Toilette Poison Christian Duar. My God, it's beautiful. Is this a feather? Pen? What is this from the Declaration of Independence? I don't know what this is. This was probably a maybe a decoration for the for the mirror. I don't know. That's very weird. Of course, an empty cassette holder. Wait, let's see what the music is. Oh man, please be good. Oh, that's that's disappointing. Golden big band hits. Man, I was really hoping for some 70s long hair rock music. What's this? Oh, this is cool. This is the there's two, that's good. These are the latches for the, the little cozy wing windows. Look, they get glued on here. I wonder if these even work. Oh man, they're pretty tight. We'll figure that out, but that's good. I've got the latches. Put those on, very cool, okay. They am glad, man, this car is very complete. You'll see, which is kind of interesting, on the inside of the glove box door, is some of the vehicle specifications capacity weight designated seating capacity two persons interesting two persons in the front oh that's i'm not allowed to put anybody in the rear is that what that means is that saying can i not read that well okay so they put two seats in the back but you cannot use them interesting all right tire pressure that's cool very good tire size very nice to know that's complete and actually in pretty good shape for such an old car. All right, what else we got in here? Uh, of course, a bottle opener. Everyone needs one of those in their glove box. I don't know what that is. 
Man, we'll just have to throw most of this away. What else do we have? Some sort of bracket. Wait a minute. So this can What is this? This is a switch. I don't know what that's from. That looks like maybe this switch. I don't know. Some bus fuses. A comb. Gotta look good. Gotta look good. I don't know what these rubber some sort of mounts are. What they're doing in here. All right, screw some pennies. I'll have my kids go through and see if there's any wheat pennies in here they can sell on eBay. Ooh, 19, what is this? 1986 necklace. Love it. This is a time capsule. All right, let's clean this up. But before we do that, I'm going to get this top up and see how it looks. Let's try it out. All right, there's the top. How does it look? Let's get this door shut. Not 100% successful, not quite as good a condition as I thought, but also not work, not in the worst possible shape. So couldn't quite get it all the way closed. I probably could, I got the latches somewhat started. You can see it's just been so long, it's been folded up. But man, watching these little windows, Pull up from inside the door very cool they just pivot down in interesting engineering the, uh, the top isn't in fantastic shape but just from my brief look I don't see any holes any tears the the rear plexiglass oh there's a hole shoot all right well right there we've got a little hole that's too bad Probably can't repair that, although I've been known to utilize duct tape every once in a while. And that might have to do for me because who cares? Because I have the hard top. I have the hard top. But if you're out the top, top down, you hit some rain, you want to pull this up, it would do the trick. Uh, very dirty, um, very stiff. You know, let it stretch out. I could not really pull it all the way to latch. So you can see. The inside, not too bad. A little bit of staining um, around some of the seams. But overall, I don't see any really damage. More mold. Ugh, yuck, I'm gonna have to really do, but you can see how I've got the latch just started there. And if I put a, a little bit of torque, it could pull on it, but I don't wanna do any damage to it quite yet. So we'll let it sit, maybe stretch out. That's gonna do it for today. We're gonna to have to see what kind of trouble we can get in. My next priority, I think, is gonna get that engine moving before we really get into any of the interior, the exterior, the top. Uh, see if that engine's gonna turn over. We'll get, get it moved by hand. We're gonna pull the plugs. I'm going to um, clean the fuel tank, get some fresh gas in it, turn it over, get some good oil, new oil filter, new spark plugs. See if we can get it to fire up. If that thing turns with no problem, we're gonna work next on a timing belt new bearings, new pulleys, clean everything up around the engine, make sure it's gonna run and be solid. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna put tires on it and drive the heck out of it. And then we'll see where we go from there. All right, see you next time.